So videos about topics like we'll be talking about in this one are way more important and valuable than any Kindle Publishing related or Kindle Publishing tutorials that we make. Mm -hmm. Just because they go beyond way more than just making money. Way more than just Kindle Publishing. So as you can see from the title of this video, we're going to talk about how to not and never take L's again in your life ever. And it really stems from one thing. Yeah. And so this is basically the thesis of the whole thing. It's about how you react to negative events in your life. Okay. Now everyone goes through negative events in your life. It's an inevitable you, thing. You can't in life. change it. It will happen regardless of what as you do. As great as anyone's life is, there will be lots of negative events, and how you react to them will ultimately decide whether you take an L or you take a W. Look, it's not the event itself that makes your life shitty. Mm -hmm. It's how you Everyone react to it and respond to it. Everyone has these events. Yeah, right. But then, how come some people still have epic lives even though they went through the same shitty shit that other yeah. people did? So, an example that I like for this is. Let's say a breakup. Like a lot of people go through breakups in life. They're some of the most devastating things that anyone can go through. And they're a lot of times completely out of your control. Let's say someone else breaks up with you. And there are essentially two ways you can react to this. You can either let a breakup completely ruin your life, go into depression, make it lose your job, just spiral out of control, move back home, lose everything because of a breakup. And then this exact same breakup can happen to another person and they react completely opposite, okay? They take this breakup and they use it as an opportunity to improve themselves and make their lives and themselves way, way better. It could spark this massive burst of motivation, the most motivation you've ever experienced in your life. So you start hitting the gym for the first time in your life, you get super ripped, you, you start killing it at your job, you get a raise, use this as an opportunity to jumpstart your life again and achieve things that maybe she was holding back from you before. Some people are in situations like that. Mm -hmm. They're in relationships where they're actually held back from achieving their dreams. Mm -hmm. So this is just, that's an example of a devastating negative event. Now it could either ruin you or it could turn you into the next great thing. Now it could change your life because you become so motivated to change. Yeah. I seriously believe that like uh, like people have praised us for being good at this mm -hmm. is that whatever whenever a negative thing or a bad thing happens to us we take it really well we find the silver lining and then we just go with that and we don't dwell on the bad shit and yeah. then let that take us down it all stems back to just just like sickening amounts of optimism yeah. all the time always optimistic always positive because what's the point of being negative and pessimistic who does that help no it doesn't one. even make yourself feel good it no. makes yourself feel feel like shit it makes people not want to be around you yeah. like positive people everyone wants to be around they make others feel good yeah I think this is something that you train yourself the first step is becoming conscious of it being coming conscious of that this is actually in your hands mm -hmm. that this is a choice how you react to something the negative event that happens is not a choice, not a choice. But how you react is to everyone you, you have to realize it's a choice 100% okay. of control because then when you give yourself the responsibility of it then you can actually decide what to do with it. Yeah. Now, I wanna give another example that probably a lot of people watching this video have been through. Uh, let's say you get fired from your job. Mm -hmm. There's like the firing from your job happens to so many people, but what they do afterwards is what's gonna determine their future. So let's say you get fired. The majority of people will get depressed. They will probably go over to the fucking drug dealer, try and get some pot just to relieve the temporary pain that they're in the middle of. And then literally just get high, Be move home with mom, play video games, and then eventually run out of all your money, then because you think you're not worth anything, then you just go for a super low level job working at McDonald's, then you start making all that money, you use it on more weed, you're living at home, you're now a fucking bum. But it literally continues for 20 years then. Yeah. But then there's also the person that will get fired and then think, okay, I'm now in a desperate position. I could go down that path that we just explained. Or even the job that I have was not my fucking dream job. Of course not. I could use this opportunity to create a way better life to the point where getting fired was a good thing for me. It literally made my life better. Use it as an opportunity to find a better job that makes more money, a job that you enjoy even more, because if it was a corporate job, you probably didn't enjoy it very much. Or, oh, and now's an opportunity to have super low expenses and start on this online business I've always wanted to begin. To me, being in that position 
because I've been there before. It's exciting. You have every opportunity in the yeah. world to do whatever you want. Okay, it's it's scary because you the future is uncertain, but you can literally choose to do whatever. You have a clean slate. Uh -huh. You're not tied down to a job, to a girlfriend. Now you're free to do whatever you want. Yeah. So have that that yeah opportunistic mindset. It's really about opportunity, seeing opportunity and open doors. Yeah. It's about seeing open doors when shit like that happens. Again, like I was saying, this it, it, you can really train yourself to think this way. Be conscious of, okay, uh, how am I going to react? It, the problem is a lot of people don't even realize it. They don't realize you can actually make a decision and uh, they just go with the flow and they naturally, you'll feel like shit, so you'll do shitty things. And that's why if, if you get fired from a job, you're not a victim. You are not a victim. You can make yourself into that, mm -hmm. but that happens to everyone. Take some damn everyone is. So I find this video to be extremely important for people because this might be the video that makes people realize that it's a it's a conscious decision how you feel and how you react. Yeah. Okay. And, you've and just, that's the you've, step one. You've just been feeling bad for yourself because all these bad things happen. Last thing I want to say is so we were talking about with big events that that's those are the most important ones, but you can you can honestly take this with you anywhere in life, even to very small minor things. So like, let's say something simple as going out to eat. I want to go here, uh, so, someone else wants to go there, uh, and you go to the place you don't want to go. So you'd be like, fuck, and then you could just be like, annoyed. Like, you could literally just be annoyed the whole time. We're not where I want to be. Or you could view it positively. Oh, nice, now I can go to this place I've never been before. Or now I could do all these other things. Everything in your life can be twisted into a positive. What's the point of keeping them negative and making yourself feel like shit? That, that like life is about emotions. Now I want to end this video with a quick exercise. I want you to think back to a time or a really negative experience that you went through, like something a big one, something very traumatic, and maybe it doesn't even have to be a massive one, but something negative that happened in your life, and just think about how did you respond to it and like what led to happening afterwards. And this is just to really build your self-awareness. Now, if you didn't respond in a good way, that's fine. But now you know, and then for the future, if it ever happens again, you'll kind of know how to react and turn it into a positive experience. So that really is everything you want to say in this video, unless you got more. You said self-awareness. I want to make another video about that. How self-awareness is arguably one of the most important traits you can have. Self-awareness in every situation. So in this case, self-awareness on how you react to things, you're, if you're negative or positive when shit happens to you. Uh, and then also self-awareness in your business, how you're spending your time, things like that. I wanna talk about self-awareness in another video and how important it is. Closing note, what we talk about in this video, I think truly is the reason that I, I, I feel arrogant and kinda, I don't like saying it, but I really am living the perfect life that I want. Yeah, and it's not, I, I don't have everything I want, but it's just the way that I approach everything. So I just want to end it on that. I'm hoping you guys can take something from this video. Comment, like, subscribe, magic emoji of the video. Magic emoji of the video. Sun. Sun. Sun emoji. Always look on the bright side of things. Yeah, super gay. Yeah. But no, makes sense. Yes, yeah, gay, but it makes sense. That's really what it is. Do drop a comment, let us know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? How are you when it comes to this? How do you react to negative events? And that's what it is. See you next video. Thank you.